here at all our airports. The National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, is fighting a constant battle against drug dealers and smugglers. These men are responsible for cleaning and getting rid of delinquents in our country. And when it comes to our borders, these dedicated officers take no chances, especially with a suspicious traveler. This year alone, they have intercepted more than 13 drug dealers, including some young students studying in Cyprus with the help of their special task force and the full body scanner. I am here to see how it gets done and how drug syndicates are busted at the Namdi Azikiwe International Airport through the use of X-ray scanner and radiography. Hello and welcome to the narcotics section of the new international terminal of the Namdi Azikiwe International Airport, Abuja. It's time for you to pay close attention. Please can you come forward? These are the drugs officers. You see them standing here. Passengers are being observed as they pass through immigration. And this is where they do their sampling. Once they take your passport, they profile you. If they think they need to carry out more investigation on you, mm. they move you into this room. So we we'll move into that room now. Okay. But bear this in mind. Everybody is a potential suspect. So at what point do you begin to like suspect a passenger? What we actually do is that the airlines mm -hmm. give us the manifest. From the manifest, the targeting team will pick out names for us mm. that they are suspected. Then we still have officers who are on surveillance. So any information they have gotten from their surveillance, they send it out to us here. Mm. They will assess the passengers. Once you fit into a profile, we will take him in for scanning. And okay. that is the scanning room there. Okay, yes. and at times you get tips also. You could have people that also yes. give you information, tips. Yes. Information, yes. Okay, wow. Let's get down to business. This is like a hospital. I told it's you. It's scary. I <laughs> told you. So, uh, <laughs> this is the radiographer who carry out this uh, check. What the is the radiography? is to check what is internal of any person that was suspected or is profiled in order to come and screen here. That is if I have swallowed, swallowed yes. injected or it. Or if I have packing in, in any uh, outside of your body. <laughs> okay. So, Okay, it will show here. Can you demonstrate for us? Yes. What name is Adachi. Adachi. So you're going to put my profile. Put profile I just hope that tomorrow when I'm traveling, you guys will not come and say my name is Adachi. Mm, Adachi will have you in our profile. Yes. So <laughs> I, I don't want that what, trouble. What we do? It's just for record. I know. I'm just making a joke. Should I go now? Can she stand on it? Okay. So I'm going to go through this. This is where they do extra check in case if I've injected or packaged right. any drug on me to show your system, right? Yeah. That's hold that stand, yes. yes. I should hold it. Yes. Okay. This is the scariest thing that could happen to any passenger. Mm -hmm. Honestly. <laughs> My heart is <laughs> Okay, so I can step down now. Thank you. This is really nice. Come, let me show you something. Okay. You see here. Are you serious? Yes, please. My throat, yes, so yes. in case if you swallowed yes. anything, yes. straight through the list exactly. Yes, how exactly. Comes. Okay. How many have you intercepted this year? Thirteen. Okay, do they have a particular country they go to or they come from? We have some coming from Brazil and some from Addis. Addis Ababa. Yes, on departure. Departure. Right. Or or Cyprus. Yes, Cyprus. Or European country. Or any European country. When we do that machine, my heart was beating. You know, you can imagine <laughs> what happens from this So what advice can you give to passengers? The advice I will give to passengers is that whenever you are traveling, do not allow anybody to influence you to carry anything for him. No amount of money should compel you to carry drug for anybody. Because once you are arrested, you don't only lose your passport or other travel documents, you will go to jail. And you, once you are convicted and sent to jail, you have lost almost everything in life. Because once you are arrested, half of your life is gone. You may be sent to jail for life. You may go to jail for 25 years. And at the end of the day, when you leave, you cannot secure a job with the government. Okay. You cannot stand for any elective position. So your life is ruined. That is if you ever leave, depending. If, if you ever leave, or if you don't die in the, 
in the prison. So my advice is that passengers should desist from helping somebody to collect things, especially students who are traveling abroad. They should not collect any bag or any luggage to carry it to another person to deliver, especially luggage that has food items because drugs may be concealed in those luggages, especially those young, young boys going to Cyprus who have made few arrests like that, just collecting people's bag to help them carry food stuff to Cyprus. Hmm. Wow. Drugs inside. So what kind of support do you get from Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria Farm? In fact, they have been very, very tremendous to us. They have assisted us with, with the offices, whatever we need, they have been very supportive. And we are very grateful for their cooperation, for the synergy they have given us the carry out our work. Thank you. Thank you so <laughs> and what is your name? Paul Jabba is He is the Assistant Commander of Narcotics at uh, Lambia Security International Airport. Airport. Thank you so much. And well done. And keep cleaning the country. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. We'll proceed to the lounges. So with all that out of the way, now let's talk about how you can find a luxury oasis inside this airport. This is a lounge area. A lounge area. This is a lounge area, area too. If you are a priority passenger, yes. once you pass, you can go the other side or, or go this, this way. way. Depending the... on where your airline lounge is located, mm. isn't it? Yes. Okay, so but if you are not, you are free to just walk in. You just go to your boarding area. Oh, okay. We made the airport in such a way that you can catch a view of the air side. This is amazing. This is beautiful. This way you can have a perfect view of the tarmac, you watch. Where are you? I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you so as a passenger that has checked in now, yes. you will see your aircraft arriving. You will see it dock. So that is why we made the, the, the terminal in a glass form whereby you can have a view of the air side. There's really no dulling at this airport. Mm -hmm. We have about eight fingers in the terminal. These are the passenger boarding bridges. Yeah. They are eight in numbers. You can see them. Echo 8, Echo 7, Echo 6, down to the other side of the okay. apron. Yeah. You can see that's Ethiopian airline at the runway, at yes. the taxiway. Yes. It's just arriving. And that's Rwanda Air. That's Rwanda Air. You know when we're at the counter, you notice Rwanda Air was checking in. Yes. So it's just arriving now. You can see it's coming uh, through it's the coming. leading line. It's following a line. Yes. It's following a line. That yeah. line is called the leading line. The leading line. Mm. It's leading it. It will come and park at Echo 8. You can see the tire of the aircraft is packed at Boeing 737. Seven. And what is written on the flight? It's Boeing 737-800. Yes. Yes. So you pack it according to what is on the floor. Airbus can, can see pack the, here. Airbus can pack here. Look at See Airbus. Airbus 321. The tire, the tire will forward. always stop at where Good. the aircraft Airbus. is. Are you okay? okay, okay. Wow. Do you know I never really paid attention? <laughs> Look at the army of workers that are coming out so to take care of the So these are all their handlers. So you know what I told you, I said, the turnaround time is three hours. They are already checking in. Flight has arrived. Passengers will still board the same aircraft. Everything will take place in three hours or two hours, 30 minutes, depending on the ground time. But it never exceeds three hours. It doesn't. Very rare, we'll have delays. All right, so let's go take a peek at different lounges at this airport. It plays way better than the airport terminals, at least most of the time. We're open for business, as you can see. We have different lounges, about four lounges here. And it's a private-owned lounge. But this is one lounge. They're just trying to put finishing touches to their lounge. Okay, this one's mm, okay. the cilantro. And at the time of making this video, work is still ongoing, so we will not be able to tell you much about this lounge or which airlines they serve. So let's proceed to the other lounges. All right. Did you know that lounges occupy some of the hottest real estate inside terminals? And airlines use them to lure premium flyers, and credit card companies use them to sweeten their own offerings. Then upstairs you have three, should I say four more lounges? And you can access them by lift or by using the escalator. The British Airways Lounge. This one is called an executive lounge. It is a British Airways lounge managed by SDS. It caters for about four airlines first and business class passengers. That is British Airways being the main occupant. Emirates. Lufthansa and Air France all make use of executive lounge. Of course, there's availability for paying passengers. A one of payment of 10,000 Naira, then you can relax at this lounge till your flight is ready. Okay. 
So then you have Gapfa Lounge. So you can see every lounge you have a view of yes. the airport. You know, the lounge is really classy, beautiful. As you can see, they are still putting finishing touches to this lounge. I like the seating and the setting. The atmosphere here feels incredible. You have chairs overlooking the ramp, and this view is applicable to all the other lounges in the airport. This is a very beautiful, very exclusive Do you know why view. this fire vehicle is here? Yes, Favorite because location. fueling is fueling taking place. Okay. place. Okay, I need time. There's a fuel fueling <laughs> taking place. Well, There's always well, a fire cover. Wow, you've really taught me, you know, mm -hmm. things that I see all the time <laughs> that I take for granted, not adding meaning to it. You know, I can now begin to make mm -hmm. sense out of the whole mm -hmm. thing. Wow, that's nice. Okay, so because of the fueling, yes, there's always a fire cover. There's always a fire cover on standby, on standby. in case there's anything. This one is Fan Lounge. That is Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria. They have their own lounge and it takes care of uh, Rwanda Air, Egypt Air, Qatar Airways, Air Sky, and Ethiopian Airlines first and business class passengers. And then we also have paying passengers. Paid passengers as well. How much does it cost? 8,000. 8,000. 8,000, yes. Hello. Oh, they even have a uniform. You're beautiful. Your uniform is, you know, suits you well. And here we have a place where you can relax okay. if you want to sleep. Okay, why are you waiting for? Maybe your, your flight. flight is late. Yes. We can still serve you your food here. And one good thing also about Fan Lounge is that they have a relaxation and a sleeping area, even a massage chair. Massaging chairs are there for use. They have also apportioned an area for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs since their own lounge is still under construction at this airport. These are staff of Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Okay. They attend to protocol officers. officers. Yeah. So at the right wing here is for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs lounge that is still under construction. And Pearl Lounge. We can see it is very beautiful. The setting, the atmosphere is awesome. I think I finally figured out why I love airport lounges so much. They remind me a lot of cruise ships, cozy. Each one is unique with its food and interior design. Basically, airport lounges are a great way to escape the noisy terminals in an upscale environment. So if you want to be fancy at the airport, this is where you go. With all that context now in place, let's check out other amenities that you may find interesting here. There is a clinic at the departure concourse. They also have a 21 room hotel for layover passengers, which is about 80% ready. Not bad. The little tour we've taken so far. We've gone through the check-in area, we've gone through our lounges, and finally we are here at the duty-free area. This is a pre-boarding area. Passengers come in here and wait for the pre-boarding time. We have about 10 gates here. As you can see, they are numbered. You have the odd numbers and then the even, even numbers, numbers on the right-hand okay. side. So here we encourage our passengers to come here on time so that they can do some shopping and finish the little coins they have with them. Yes, small liquor for just travelers, just on the go. They're just bad. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Duty free stores are essentially stores that allow you to avoid paying local taxes and fees at your destination. Everything is priced in dollars here. Yes, we can pay in naira, pounds, and euro. Okay, what about credit card? I mean, yeah, yes, debit yes, card, yes, ATM. Yes. In fact, we encourage that the more. What would you want to see change in the future? Yeah, I want to see huge traffic, huge passenger traffic. Yes, <laughs> more flights, more passengers. <laughs> the more passengers, the more the business is good for me as well. Oh, okay. Yes. So, everything is here. We have the art and craft, strictly Nigeria. Duty-free is part of every international excursion. The airports also have all the duty-free classics. Whiskey, tobacco, cosmetics, and chocolates. It's going to be even better when we have more restaurants and shops. And I can see people have only uh, one offering for... For eatery? Yes. Uh, not just one. Some are still coming up. Okay. We have another eatery point at Dunes. Okay. And then we still have openings. 
okay. for more eatery points. Okay, so for people that want to have a shop here, we're encouraging they have, them. They, they should yes, come. They should come. And I'm looking forward to seeing your application letter by next week. Okay, me? Oh, Yo, yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it's expensive. It's not expensive. You can. It's not about the what you what you spend. It's about what you get. What you get. Yes. So what would I be getting? Ah, you know that these are travelers, so you know you get a lot from them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We have 12 scheduled for International Airlines. We have British Airways, Emirates, Lufthansa, Air France, Air Côte d'Ivoire, Turkish Airlines, Rwanda Air, Egypt Air, Ethiopia, African Sky. World. Sky. Sky. What about we have A Qatar. What about APs? APs started and stopped their operations for a while. At least in a month, we can facilitate on departure level, we can have about 79,000. Passengers so, traveling. So, and in a year, how many do you do? In, in a year? year, roughly one million or above that. And the airport is very huge. And it's very the, huge. Our passenger capacity, the passenger, the terminal capacity is between 10 million to 11 million. You're not even up to one, one third of it. We're getting fifth. there. We're getting there. So, what do you think is it's impeding? You know, the growth of this airport. It's been on for the past, open for the past four years. It's growing. So the, Abuja, Abuja is not our hub. Our hub is Lagos. Lagos. So you find out that the traffic there is higher than here. Okay. Here is the seat of government. So mostly people that come in here, come in here for meetings, not really business. Okay. Yes. All right. Every part of the terminal has both this escalator mm. and has the lift okay. for the, the people with less mobility. Yes. You bring them in, bring them up through the lift. Everything here, international is compliant with passengers with less mobility. Okay. Our toilets are compliant to that. We don't have problem here facilitating them at all. This is the final boarding area. Boarding area. From this place, you're boarding your flight. Okay. So from I'll here, up. I'll take you through to see the passenger boarding bridge. Okay. This is the passenger boarding bridge. We have about eight of it. And every passenger boarding bridge has three fingers. So this one wing, okay, for you can dock this to the aircraft, the first class passengers can go in through here. Yes, they can go in through here. Okay. And then you can board other passengers through here if you don't want them to interfere. Okay. There can be no doubt about it. Meeting the professionals here at Namdi Azikiwe International Airport who dedicate themselves each day in the face of relentless challenges to working hard so that passengers like you and me experience smooth journey. But sometimes one bad experience with a misconnection or other irregular operation color our view of a travel. But the reality here is professionals like Kabil, Rashida, and so many others actually prevent countless problems before they occur. So next time you are flying, say a thank you to that gate agent or even give a wave to a ramp worker. Thank you all for watching today's video. I look forward to seeing you in future videos.